Hey guys, Roy Eliza here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to put out a Q&A on YouTube. So today is the day that I'm finally gonna do it. So on my Instagram, I put out one of those little question things saying, ask me all your burning questions and I'm gonna answer them on YouTube. And boy oh boy, did I get a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, so before I get into this video, as you are all aware, there is COVID-19 going around. I have had so many comments of you awesome people asking me if I'm okay, if my family is safe and healthy, and I just want to put out there that I'm healthy, none of my family have gotten the COVID-19, um, so we're all healthy, we're all safe. I live out the back of Whoop Whoop, a lot of you Americans don't know what that means, it just means I live on a farm far away from civilization, so I don't think there's any way we can really get affected if I'm living on a mountain out the back of Whoop Whoop. <laughs> The only way that I will be getting COVID-19 is if a bunny rabbit somehow gets it or a kangaroo gets it. But for those people that do live in civilization around a lot of people, I'm talking like in cities, like Sydney, um, Brisbane, any of those big cities, I just want to say, make sure to stay in home. Don't forget to sanitize your hands. Use a lot of hand sanitizer. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds before you eat. You guys know all the logistics, but enough of this COVID-19 because we hear enough of it every single day. Let's go on and get into the video. Okay, first question. If you could choose to be any TikToker, who would it be? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't want to be any other TikToker because I'm proud to be who I am. I am super proud of everything that I've accomplished in the past year and a half with every TikTok that has just gone viral. I put a lot of work and a lot of dedication into my TikTok account and I wouldn't say that I would want to be any other TikToker but myself. Next question. What is your favorite candle scent? Um, mine would probably have to be some sort of like caramel flavor. I absolutely love caramel candles, like salt and caramel. Um, Peter Alexander actually had a gorgeous candle that I had for so long and I was so obsessed with it. So definitely caramel. Alrighty, this question is from Hayley. Do you ever get sick of having to make content? And P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you too. Um, no, I don't ever really get sick of content. Like, I love making videos. I find it so fun just to think outside the box and be creative because it's actually proven if you don't be creative each day, you do lose it. Um, so I love how that my job allows me to be creative every single day. So to answer that question, I would have to say I do not get sick of it. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to start saying the usernames of the people because obviously they're fans and... Like, I mean, I would love if Justin Bieber said my name, put it that way. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is by Rachel H. Bell underscore. Are you a Netflix lover? Um, I'm more a Disney Plus type of gal. Um, but yeah, I do love a good old Netflix binge. So this question is by Luna Ruby 125 What's up, girl? Um, what's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food, I do, I have a big, massive sweet tooth. Like, anything sugary, hand it over, this girl will take it. My favorite fruit would probably have to be watermelon. Oh, what a big surprise, it's just <laughs> sweet. Um, I absolutely love watermelon, I swear I can eat like a whole quarter of it to myself, not gonna lie. And I do love the good old spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> this question is by underscore Mia underscore A A A A A A. What's up? <laughs> what gives you the ideas for your TikToks? Um, honestly, just day-to-day -day things. Like, obviously, a lot of my videos are relatable. So, if I, like, something happens in my life. So, I'm, say I'm, like, walking through a push or a pull door. And I go push instead of pull. It's just little things like that that just set off, like, a little light bulb in my head. And I'm like, whoa, that would make a perfect TikTok. Like, it's super relatable. Everyone does it. So it's just things that happen in my day-to-day -day life. Like I have a lot of things with my mum on my TikTok account. So obviously like your mum screaming at you do heaps of house chores or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's just basically when I live my life out, I just get a bunch of light globes in my head. The next question is by Lil underscore Mads03. Have you ever broke a bone? Um, no, I've never broken a bone. Oh, actually, 
I don't know. Like, I've never actually, like, gone to get an x-ray and, like, had a doctor say, yo, your bone is broken. Um, but I did slam my pinky in a car door and the door fully closed. My dad didn't know my finger was in the car door. He locked the car, put the keys in his pocket, and walked off to Macca's to get a coffee. And because I was in, like, so much pain, I didn't really let out a scream until I sort of, like, it kind of registered in my head that my finger is... It is stuck in the door. So um, I finally let out this massive big scream. My dad realizes what's happening. He runs back, unlocks the car, and my finger's like bent and black and like bleeding. So it's, I don't know. I don't really know if that's like, if it's broken or what, but I just know my finger was black and bent. So you, I guess you could say I broke a bone, but not officially. Next question. This is by TRNE2201. How many followers do you have on TikTok? I have 2.2 million followers on TikTok. Um, I am, I'm like, ooh, I think I'm like 30,000 followers away from 2.3. That's really exciting. Next question. Do you wish you were more famous on TikTok? See, for me, it was never about numbers. It was never about becoming famous, nothing like that. I generally just started the app to make kids smile. Like my comedic skits, I get a lot of you guys comment down below, or you know, I get bullied at school and I come home and I watch your TikToks and they make me feel better. See, that's, that's all I wanna hear. I don't wanna like be famous, none of that. I just wanna be a positive influence on younger kids and also just bring a smile to their faces when they've had a bad day. This question is by Kira underscore Ingram underscore. Any pressures that come with your success? If so, how do you cope with them? That is a good question. <laughs> um, I do find that I do feel pressured sometimes. Like my standards on TikTok now, um, they every video is, is now over 200,000 likes. So I kind of feel a pressure that all my videos have to be that perfect every time. And I've got a lot of brands looking at my content. So I feel like my content has to be perfect. And this is my career. So I honestly just want to do it so perfect. I'm a perfectionist. So my whole account has to be absolutely perfect. I think I'm the only one that puts pressure on myself. No one else puts pressure on me. I put pressure on myself because I'm such a perfectionist. My videos have to be on each standard of each video. I want them to be that perfect. So no one really puts the pressure on me. I think I just put it on myself. How I cope with that, I mean, <laughs> you guys, you guys help me cope with that just by reading your comments and you guys saying, I love this video. This is my favorite video I've ever watched on TikTok. You're my favorite TikToker. Things like that um, help me cope with pressure. So this question is asked by Zebba underscore da underscore kebab. <laughs> Hello. How did you come up with Agathon, Beth Athena, and Olikens? My sister actually came up with the name Olikens, um, but Agathe Agathon, sorry, I almost got the model up. It's my own names. Agathon and Beth Athena. I just came up with them on the spot. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I ever said those names, I completely came up with it on the spot and it kind of just stuck throughout my comedies because everyone was commenting on how funny those names were because they're so unexpected. Um, so coming up with those names, like I don't actually just sit down and go, hey, what's a funny name I can come up with? They just kind of blurred out of my mouth. Like, I don't know how I came up with Agathon and Beth Athena. Like, they're just too bizarre. <laughs> okay, this is a saucy question. This is asked by Heidi.sk5. Are you in a relationship? The answer to that is no. <laughs> Second last question is asked by lesu.com.au. <laughs> what inspires you to become a social media influencer? Um, well, I didn't really sit down and think, hey, I'm going to be a social media influencer. Ever since I was very, very, very little, I always had an interest in doing comedic videos. I had a little iPod Nano, I'll put a little photo here of what a little iPod Nano is in case y'all people don't know, in case you're too young for that. Um, but I had a little iPod iPod Nano and I would sit there and I would film silly videos. I had a little sock puppet um, and I would just make really silly videos. So comedic sort of videos have always been a part of my life. I've kind of grown up always making them and you know TikTok came out and I just started posting them and a lot of you guys started to love my comedy videos and I was like hey this is awesome that you know I'm getting an audience now I'm inspiring people um so nothing really inspired me to become an influencer um it kind of just happens through 
you know, a general interest that I had. Last question. This is by Christy Pryor 98 Do you regret not staying in school? Absolutely not. <laughs> Leaving school has opened up so many opportunities and so much more time to dedicate time on making the content for you guys. And also, this is a career for me. You know, I'm getting my sponsorships. It's all just happening from TikTok and it's absolutely incredible. So my TikTok has grown over a million followers since leaving school a few months ago. So leaving school is honestly the best thing I ever did to focus on my dream career, which is to influence you guys. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to thumbs up this video and hit the little gray notification bell. I think it's on this side, <laughs> the little gray notification bell so you are notified every single time that I post. Um, and yeah, I love you guys, bye.